This tutorial is going to show you how to take the tint out of transitional glasses. I had a client who requested that I make her glasses look like normal glasses in post-processing. So, I told her I'd see what I could do. So first thing we're going to do is zoom way in on these glasses. And this is in Adobe Camera Raw. Um, so if you don't shoot in Raw, you'll have to go through the regular Photoshop to do this. And there are ways to do it, but of course you, you don't lose as much quality if you're doing it in Raw. And so we're going to go up here to the Brush Tool and make this small. I already have it pretty small. Let's see. So for now, um, all of these are set to zero. I uh, have my density set at 43. I'm actually going to go ahead and move the density on up um, all the way to 100. Flow, feather, uh, the size, I've got it at 6. I think I'm going to put it at like 4 for this particular one. Exposure, we're going to lighten them first. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the exposure a little at a time until I get exactly what I'm wanting. The one thing we don't want to do is make the inside of our glasses lighter than our skin. Now as we lighten this, you can see that there's a pink tint, a pink purplish tint to the glasses, to the um, sunglasses. So when they're clear, they look perfectly clear, but the tint to them has a pinkish tone to it. So there we have it. We've um, lightened them enough, but they have this cast that makes them look a little odd. And when you and zoom back out, you can really kind of see that pink cast to the lenses. So we'll zoom back in. I'm going to go new brush over here. Go ahead and make the exposure back to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color right here. And since it's a pink tint, the best thing to do to balance that out is to pick a greenish tone. And I'm going to go with a light green tone. Maybe lean it a little more towards the yellow end of the spectrum. Hit OK. Now for this, the density, I want to do it gradually and kind of look at it as it comes. So I'm going to set the density at about 40. I'm going to go ahead and I'll even set it a little lighter than that, maybe like 35. And so once we paint this on over here, notice the color changing. And you can hit show mask to see exactly where you have and have not painted on. And so you can zoom out and check that out and see it's the tone is a lot closer to our actual skin tone. I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. That green really helps balance that out. Now if you notice, it's a little too cool. Her skin has more of an orange cast to it than that. So what I'm going to do now, hit new brush, and instead of using a green, I'm going to add a little orange to the skin. Same brush. And if you notice, it's very close to matching her skin now. Um, you can zoom out. And you can see that this one, this side that I've already colored is way closer to her skin tone than this side. So we're going to go ahead and color this one too. And there we go. I'm going to remove those pins right here. It says show pins. It's going to take those off. Just shows you where you've been working. And you can see that uh, the before and after. Uh, if you want to get a really good impression of it, you can click on hand tool or any other button to get you back to the main thing. Come over here and create a snapshot so you don't lose what you've done. And then you can go back over here. And let's go to this brush and you can hit clear all. And that's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. Then you hit open your image, bring it back up in Photoshop, and finish editing.